say the least. More on your six-day forecast coming up. Vince, thank you. Homes simply torn from their foundations, cars thrown in the air. We're not talking Oklahoma this week. We're talking Wisconsin a few years back. A village in Fond du Lac County knows what it takes to rebuild after a twister. Residents there telling our Gen uh, Genesex tonight what they learned from their tornado disaster. You never want anybody to go through what you went through. Never. As time passed, the village of Oakfield proved its resilience. We went out on our deck and you just didn't recognize it as the same place. Today, there's little sign left of destruction caused by an F5 tornado that hit July 18, 1996. The one exception is at the local library. The church itself, the school was behind it. Where the damage is archived in pictures. The windows were kind of sucked out of the basement. Joanne Tetzloff's house required $40,000 in repairs. We we had a I beam from the canning factory, which is down the hill from us, come through our front window. It missed my grand piano by about that much. St. Luke's Church and Parochial School was beyond repair, but was rebuilt in just over a year with help from donations from around the world. Perhaps the most publicized image from the tornado is this picture of Barbara Rohde's house. We looked out the back door, and there's this huge funnel coming through our backyard. She recalls huddling in the basement with her husband. It's just like Everything is cracking and shattering. My husband, you know, was praying, and, and I just, I knew we'd be okay. Within a couple years, the roadies and their neighbors rebuilt their homes. They've moved on, but Tuesday, pause to think of those dealing with destruction in the present. You learn very quickly you don't need things because they're gone, and that's not what's important. The fortunate thing about the Oakfield tornado is they didn't have to mourn anybody, though more than a dozen people were injured. People here tell us they plan to be among the first to donate to survivors in Oklahoma. Reporting in Oakfield, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Back to Oklahoma now, where the governor there toured the damaged areas. She called this one of the most horrific disasters her state has ever seen. Fox 6's Ben Handelman is getting a first-hand look at all of the widespread destruction. He is live in Moore, Oklahoma, sharing some amazing stories. These cars behind me really tell the whole story. There is a big mess to clean up 